The historic election upset is official. New Jersey Senate President Steve Sweeney, one of the most powerful elected officials in the state, has now conceded his race. Eyewitness News anchor Natasha Brown is live in the CBS3 News Center with Sweeney's first comments on his loss. Natasha. Well, Jessica, both candidates spoke out today. Senator Sweeney says that we have not seen the last of him yet while the senator-elect wants to bury the hatchet. Senator Sweeney lost re-election to Republican newcomer and commercial truck driver Edward Durr in South Jersey's 3rd District. An emotional Senator Sweeney talked about his defeat at the State House in Trenton today. It's the end of a 20-year run in the Senate and a 12-year tenure as president of the chamber. The Democrat says his loss by about 2,000 votes was the result of overwhelming Republican turnout in his politically split district. It serves parts of Gloucester County, Cumberland County, and all of Salem County. I'm not going away. I don't say what I'm doing, but I can tell you something. I've been a believer in making New Jersey affordable for a long time. I've been the one that has been through battles, over pension and health care costs for a long time. My voice has been consistent because it's with the blue collar workers that I see every day. They got to be able to live here. To Senator Sweeney, I congratulate you on a long career. Who knows, maybe someday we can have a beer together. Now the hard work begins. The voters have spoken. They don't want government rule by a dangerous guy armed with a bunch of executive orders. Well, Durr talking about Governor Murphy there in that reference. Senator Sweeney, meantime, stopped short of saying whether he would seek election to the Senate again in two years or run for governor possibly in 2025. We'll just have to wait and see. Jessica, back to you. All right, Natasha, thank you.